Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> it's time to pull myself up, I guess. Ah, Florgy Steve with the bits. Florgy Steve cheered. X20. Hi, Zero. I had a stressful day of work, so need some time to mellow out. Well, Florgy Steve, you came to the right place. <laughs> we are we are nothing but mellow here. Also, also, hello, hello, kitten. Hello, kitty. Don't like silly kitty. Hello. I know that you're there. Uh, also, welcome, uh, Miss... Miss Kiwi, uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Hunter Base. Uh, we're about to get started with some Sanic announcements, um, and uh, but we also I also have something pretty cool that I gotta show you guys. Hold on, did I save it? Uh, did I? Okay, hold on. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. So, did I save this image. Did I save it? Did I not save it? Oof, I'm dumb. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, I can show this now. Uh, you know what? I'll just uh, I'll show this in a minute. First off, first off, first of all things. Um. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what happened, uh, and 11, I asked in my Discord server, I'm like, do you guys want to see me react to this? And 11 people said yes, and one person said no, so <laughs> that's why I decided. The one person who said no was uh, Hannah, w or Awishi, I guess I should say, um, which makes me, makes me surprised, because I think she watched it <laughs> on her stream. Uh, by the way, quick shout out to my, my, my girl Hannah, she's... Uh, a VTuber, I think she debuts next month uh, with her model, so definitely check her out. I've seen the model. It looks fucking awesome. Uh, hey, Tab Sally, good to see you. Um, so, uh, yes, um, we're going to watch some Sonic stuff here in a second. I would request that nobody spoil anything if they've seen it already, the little Sonic 30th anniversary stream thing. I would ask that you not spoil it because I want my genuine reactions, and I think you guys want them too. Uh, so we're going to watch that, and then we're going to play some Resident Evil Village tonight. Some more of that. We have to escape from Dommy Mommy Vampire. Dommy Vampire Mommy, even though I really don't want to. But we have to, so i got to escape from her. And uh, I'm also going to explore the castle a little bit more, because there's still some stuff. So, so there's still some stuff to get. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do that tonight. So in just a moment, we're going to start this. Also, um... Just a heads up, just a reminder to anybody uh, who's new here. I normally do four streams on the weekends, but uh, as of Sunday this week, my shift and days off are changing at work. So unfortunately, I can no longer do the lessons on 2 p.m. on Saturdays. The uh, the other, the off-brand streams are still happening Saturday nights, uh, unless that changes. Uh, and then Sunday, I don't have my other collab is still on hold. The the one I was doing with Radia, um, so we'll be doing something else Sunday during the day at two p.m. Uh, and then of course the VHL stream is at nine p.m. Sunday night as well. So lock the kitchen. 
lock pick in the kitchen. Yes, right. I got to get the lock pick in the kitchen, right? Uh, on the Horizon Forbidden World. Okay. I still haven't played uh, Zero Dawn yet. I bought a PS4 when I was out, but I still haven't played it yet. I need to play that. Maybe I should stream that game. Uh, I want to get a physical copy of it because apparently it's not that expensive now. So, um, but uh, but yeah, no, that's the um, that's the plan going forward. Um, I'm still going to be doing because I have Mondays off coming up. My days off are changing to Sunday, Monday, uh, and my shift ends at seven thirty instead of six thirty. Uh, going for the next few months, and my shift is going to be same for three months. So that means um, means two things. One, it's not going to affect D and D because the D and D streams happen at seven thirty. Though, as you guys have seen, we haven't had D and D for a couple weeks because there's been some snags. People got busy. Awesome. If you get a copy, make sure you get the edition. It has the Frozen Wilds DLC. Ah, okay. Gotcha. I see it go on sale for like ten bucks physically all the time. So maybe I'll go pick it up. Um. What was I going to say? So yeah, so D&D is still on. All my other stream things are still on. It's just the Saturday uh, afternoon streams are going to be, unfortunately, have to be axed uh, for a little bit. Uh, but anyways, uh, there's one more announcement, and I'm going to switch uh, over to my stream screen for just a moment so you guys can see said announcement. So let's do this. Okay, so uh, as you guys can see, this is my Twitter screen, or this is Debbie's Twitter. Tomorrow... I will be joining Debbie for her one year anniversary of streaming. Uh, we're gonna be playing golf with your friends, and as you can see, she drew little chibis of us. She's all little chibis. You guys see my face? Oh, look at this, it's so cute. Uh, Geeky's gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Illo's gonna be there. Zuzi, uh, Karama, Moose, Darkness, uh, Sky, um, LK Chow. I don't know if I know who that is. Tina's going to be there. Yo, Jimbo is also going to be there. So um, she, they're so cute. And I asked her, I'm like, hey, can I can I like have mine and make it my Discord icon? She's like, uh, sure. Like, thanks. It's too adorable. Ah, and then she got and then she blushed. <laughs> it was cute. So tomorrow, I believe this is at it's at 6 30 p.m. CST. So that's 7 30 p.m. my time. I don't no, if I'm going to be streaming it, uh, I kind of feel weird streaming for her anniversary thing, but I also kind of want to get my perspective. So what I might do is if I don't stream it, I might just record it and then upload it as a video to my YouTube channel. Um, but uh, I know I just want to pinch my cheeks, too. They're so rosy and cool. Um, anyways, uh, so this is happening tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be on Debbie's channel. And one, uh, so I'm going to give her a shout out. Uh, if you don't know who Debbie the developer is, she's a wonderful friend of mine, one of my earliest friends in... Ah, she was playing Village as well. One of my earliest friends is a VTuber, and I love her to death. She's amazing. Uh, she's a fantastic artist. She's a fantastic voiceover, voice actress. Uh, she's a member of Project Livedream. I just love her to bits, and uh, you guys should definitely come out to her cutie patootie with a nice booty stream tomorrow over on her twitch anyways that's enough uh plugging uh this will be tomorrow night so get ready for that i'll be promoting it too I i'm gonna be honest i'm probably not gonna stream it it's it, like i don't need to stream it there's no reason for me to like the only thing that it would do is it'd be like for like you know the regular streamer stuff I don't want to take away from Debbie's thing. This is her thing. This is her moment. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, this is my moment. You know what I mean? Like it's it's other people are gonna be streaming, but I'm just like, eh, I don't need to be that person. So, anyways, that's enough talk. Let's get to the thing. This is number 10 on trending. This also the Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube channel has less subscribers than I'm like some YouTubers, and I'm like, that's surprising. So just a little bit of background. I'm not a huge Sonic fan, but I got into the Sonic fandom uh, in the mid to uh, the mid to late aughts or 2000s. Um, a group of friends. I got into it with. Uh, I had always known about Sonic, but I didn't grow up with the Genesis. My friends always had the Genesis. I always liked, loved Sonic too. It was one of my favorites for a long time. Uh, then I got Sonic Heroes, and I loved that game. Uh, and I played some of the games since. Uh, there's a let's play on my there's let's plays on my youtube channel uh where we play uh, me and my friends have played uh sonic forces uh sonic um 
we did Sonic, uh, what was it? What was the game we did? We did Sonic, uh, I'm trying to think of it now. Uh, we did Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which I wasn't very fond of. Uh, we also did a couple of other games. Uh, did Sonic Mania with uh, my my cousin. Um, Sonic Mania Plus, actually. So, I, I'm not a huge Sonic fan, but I know the games. Uh, I've, there's a couple other ones I plan to play as well. Uh, but uh, I'm 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 not a hardcore Sonic fan. I like Sonic games, but I don't. I'm not super good at them, so I don't play too many of them. But uh, I'm interested to see what happens. What I would like, just for predictions, um, I would like to see a new Mania style retro game. I think that'd be fun. I'd like to see uh, a new. I'd like to see a new uh, 2D Sonic game more in the sense of things like Sonic Colors. Oh yeah, Sonic Colors is my favorite Sonic game, by the way. Uh, Sonic Colors is my favorite. I plan to stream or let's play that at some point. Um, I, I really want to do it because I really like Son Sonic Colors. It's my favorite. Um, Sonic Colors is fantastic. Uh, Sonic Generations is fantastic. Uh, and, you know, as long as I can make something that's not balls, they should be okay. Anyways, let's just shut up and see what this is about. Can you guys hear it okay? okay? Is it too loud or is it loud enough? Sega! You Welcome don't to say. our very first Sonic Central in honor of Sonic's anniversary. It's hard to believe that it's been 30 years since Sonic first appeared on the scene, beginning as a video game character I back that in the 16-bit console era, to today becoming an entertainment icon across movies, animation, video games, comics, and we'll much, much more. Sonic and his friends continue to bring joy to people around the world, and that means everything to us. From Sonic and Sega to our longtime fan, we say thank you for being a part of Sonic Evolution over the last 30 years. To our new fans, we say welcome. In celebration of Sonic 30th anniversary, we want to give you a sneak peek of a lot of exciting content. By the way, I didn't know he welcome. spoke English. Please keep in mind that there is a lot of more we will soon be sharing. We hope you enjoy the premiere of Sonic Central and be sure to stick around till the end. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's not a celebration without music. To celebrate the sounds of Sonic, we are excited to host a virtual symphony full of your favorite tracks from throughout the years. Well, I unfortunately... Get ready to experience Sonic melodies like never before with a full symphony orchestra, including special performances by the legendary Sonic rock stars Crush 40. Okay. Composer and DJ Tomoya Atani. And others. Mark your calendars and look forward to enjoying this performance on Sonic's birthday, June 23rd, for free from the comfort of your own home. Be oh, sure nice. to tune That's in nice to Summer Game Fest for an exclusive Summer Game sneak Fest peek. is something I'm going to be doing. That and E3 is happening this year, so we got to do those. Guess who's competing at the Olympic Games this year? Oh, it's none God. other than the blue blur, Sonic the Hedgehog. Dress up your avatar as Sonic and compete in 18 fun filled Olympic events. Go for the gold, your style, in basketball, this is tennis, so ridiculous, football, and much more. It's just a Sonic mascot costume. This is your chance to compete in this year's I Olympics love it. with your family and friends. Tokyo 2020 is coming to all platforms June 22nd and is available for pre-order today. I have Sydney 2000, or really it's my brother's game. It's the first PlayStation game I ever got. Next up is it's Two Point Hospital, broken. the game where you design and manage a complex healthcare institution and cure some very Let's unusual Sonic. ailments. Oh, there's a Sonic Sonic costume. will be visiting patients in need with exclusive Sonic-themed in-game items the, and the customization eyes. options. It looks like the fucking, like, Have some fun oh my god, the fucking, like, uh, to your um, favorite ice cream. Or add some swanky Sonic decor to your hospital. Oh my god. Enjoy these free in-game items on July 30th. And bring your oh, patients cool. back to great health and elegant Sonic style and speed. This oh fall, no. Sonic the Fighters will be playable in Lost Judgment. Oh! Lost Judgment is a legal suspense thriller from the creators of the Yakuza series. 
Visit any Sega arcade location in game and experience the fun oh, of a nice. perfect recreation of this 1996 fighting classic. I need to get Lost Judgment. I heard it's pretty good. Sonic the Fighters and Lost Judgment arrives September 24th. Or not Lost Judgment, the first Judgment game, whatever the heck Stay it's called. Stay tuned for more information on future collaborations throughout the year. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. And now, Minecraft for the ultimate Sonic Rock. Which I've been suckered into, I'm gonna start playing soon. Because <laughs> Soul suckered me into it. <gasps> Sonic Colors? Let's do it. I heard Mega Man noises. Is this a remaster of Sonic Colors? Oh. Wait, wait, is it actually? Are they doing are they doing a remaster of it? Oh my god, I was just talking about this game. This is my favorite Sonic game. If it's actually Sonic Colors. I think this is. Because I have the Wii version of this, and I can play it on HD, but it's not properly up. I'd love to have an upscaled version. I could play on like PS4 or something. That'd be cool. Sonic, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Ultimate will be speeding into stores September Ooh. 7th this year. Be sure to pre-order online September today 7th. to receive the baby Sonic keychain and more in-game Sonic oh, movie no. content. Oh no, the Stay movie Sonic the is going to be in it? More about Sonic Colors Ultimate. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's my favorite Sonic game. I want to see that. And now, let's hear from a very special guest. Hey, hey everybody, just Ubo? celebrate the release of okay, no, Sonic Roger Colors Smith. Ultimate. We are so excited to announce Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisps. Now, taking place in the world of Sonic Colors, this two I thought he's no longer the voice the of Sonic. Some short form animations coming your way that will feature full dialogue from the Sonic voice cast. In this, you follow Sonic and Tails to Sweet Mountain as they meet up with their new friend. I thought he wasn't Sonic Ghost anymore. Wisp to free all the captured Wisps from the evil Dr. Eggman and his robot henchmen. And I thought lucky you, we Roger Craig Smith isn't fucking Sonic anymore. I thought he wasn't. Right here, right now. Will our heroes prevail? Find out when Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisps debuts this summer. We will see you guys soon with so much more good okay. stuff. But for now, you know the drill. Oh, we he did go. come back? Okay. Fast. Ooh. Oh, this is the trailer for it, I guess? It's okay. Sonic's gonna save I'd love to see a series based on colors. Was, wait, was Roger Craig... I can't remember. Was Roger Craig Smith in colors? Or was that... Uh, I think he was, yeah. I've, it's been a while since I played Colors. It's actually, I like this animation style. I love Sonic Colors so much. It's so good. Oh, thank God. We are also excited to announce we're working on a new compilation for next year uh -oh. that includes Sonic 1, 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and Sonic CD. Jump back in I mean, time and these compilations these are nice, Sonic but like in Sonic Origins, experience the non-stop Sonic action like never before. This if is you're your chance these to kind of compilations of Sonic on the latest platforms. I hope also now they include content and features. The oh, it looks like they're including the uh, for more information um, later in the year. Well, except apparently Sonic and Knuckles. It looks like this they're year adding, we're taking uh, Sonic to new heights and expanding. Oh. Looks like they're including the Sonic iOS Mania versions, which is Sonic actually Sonic Racing good. are now available on Amazon Luna. What is Luna? Also on June 1st, Sonic, Sonic Team Forces, Racing. Team Sonic Racing, and Sonic Mania are coming to PlayStation Now. Mania Mania Plus is one of the first games I got We've for Switch, and it's so good. We've also got some special events for you in the Sonic Mobile world. Uh, Sonic Dash was pretty good. Starting in May, Sonic lot. Dash, sail into a special pirate theme party. Ooh. Be among I've played the Sonic Dash in so long. Pirate Sonic and Captain it's actually Shadow. one of the few mobile games I've played a ton of. By collecting all four birthday themed items on the track. This summer in Sonic Forces, a very special character will be dropping into action. Oh, I forgot there was a Harness Sonic Forces of mobile. It's basically Emeralds just a sequel to like... Super Sonic. That's ba the, 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 the Forces mobile is literally just a sequel to like through your opponent's attacks Sonic Dash. Invincible Super Form. Later this year, get ready to battle your friends in some private races. 
this limited time event will allow you to set up your own exclusive matches mm. with friends. I didn't realize there was Enjoy a Sonic the rush racing of Sonic uh, in this fun party mode. Uh, this October, prepare yourself for a fright as the oh. Werehog bounds into Sonic Forces and Sonic Dash. Look out for his uh -oh. arrival around I thought it was Halloween like a Sonic uh, so uh, uh, Sonic Unleashed and Remaster or something. In the, Sonic the, the, I'll Arcade, say this, the Wii version of Unleashed classic. is not bad. Race as a classic um, character. In a the classic 360 car, and PS3 and versions are kind of eh. The Wii version is not bad. I actually played through a good chunk of it, music. and I didn't hate it. The other thing is the Werehog stages just take a long time. Now let's check in with the showrunners of the recently announced Sonic animated Prime. series, Sonic Prime. What is Sonic Prime? Coming to Netflix in 2022. What's a Netflix show? Hi. I'm Joe Kelly from Man of Action Entertainment and one of the showrunners on the upcoming Netflix animated series, Sonic Prime. Man of Action is a writer's collective consisting of myself, Joe Casey, Steven T. Siegel, and Duncan Rulo. We oh, it's a PvP Sonic Dash. Earth, okay. The Ben 10 franchise gotcha, for gotcha. Cartoon Network, the heroes and team of Big Hero 6 for Disney, and a bunch of other shows that we've worked okay. on over the years in animation. We've been kind of busy. We are very excited to be working with Sega and Sonic on this project during Sonic's 30th anniversary. We're very excited to be working with Sonic on this project. It was very hard to get a hold of him because he runs too dang fast. We've never seen before in a Sonic series. We'll be bringing our experience and passion for the brand with us on Sonic Prime to deliver okay. a fun and exciting series for Sonic fans of all ages. Over all right. the course of 24 episodes, Sonic will be thrust into a high-speed adventure through the strange and mysterious Shatterverse. It's up to Sonic to save the universe and along okay. the way experience moments of self-discovery and redemption. Sonic Prime is set to premiere worldwide. Sonic Boom is a... I've seen clips of it. It seems really we good. I need to watch it. this journey with you and sharing more information with you at a later date. Things like this. Thanks again. I'll be seeing you in the Shatterverse. This year, okay. we're also making a variety of exciting 30th anniversary theme products. Okay. Take home the epic battle straight from Sonic 2 with the giant Eggman oh. robot playset from Jack, Jack Specific. Specific. For the fans dialed into hip hop culture, comes oh, the Sonic no. the Hedgehog 30th oh, hold anniversary. On. Hold on, please. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Doom. Doom. My homie. My homie, famous Owens. They did it. <laughs> they fucking did it. No Sonatu medallion. <laughs> no Sonatu medallion. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be pissed. All right, anyways. Jewelry collaboration with King Ice. You can also revisit 30 years of Sonic games with the comprehensive 30th anniversary Encyclopedia from Dark Horse. Ha, 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 ha. For Sonic memorabilia, we have an exclusive collection of coins in silver and gold from Atmex. Okay. Head to the official Sonic 30th Anniversary site for more information on all of our commemorative products. Oh god, they're trying to do a well, Mega Man commercial thing. Or not Mega Man, the hard behind the Pokemon scenes commercial thing. Things for you. There will be a lot of announcements throughout the year, so be sure to follow us on official social channels linked in the video description below. So thank you for celebrating with us and being there every step of the way. Here's to the next 30 years of Sonic. Wait, wait, Abel. Hold on. I don't think we are done yet. Uh -oh. I have one more thing I'd like to show the fan. All right, Azuka-san, let's see it. All right, let's see what this is. Wait. Maybe a proper Sonic Colors 
sequel. Maybe a proper Sonic Colors sequel. May not like Lost World, which they tried. Um, maybe a proper Sonic Color sequel. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. But you know what? It is what it is. So that's kind of high. I'm hyped for Sonic Colors uh, Ultimate because I love Sonic Colors. Honestly, that's one of the best games they've made in the last like uh, a couple generations. Yeah, it was a bit of a tease, wasn't it? They're doing something, and it's getting released next year, so. If they could just make it like Colors. like the Okay, the only problem I have with Colors is uh, there's a lot of mini stages, and I really wish they had just done a bunch of just regular Sonic stages, which just seems to be the general consensus from people. Just make more regular Sonic stages. You don't have to add all these extra things to try to make the game, whatever. There's a reason why Mario games work the way they do, because when you play a Mario game, you know what you're getting. With Sonic, it should just be the same thing. Don't try to add all these extra things. Don't add extra modes. We don't need any of that. Sonic Mania worked because it was literally just a Sonic game. You didn't have to add all this extra shit. Um, but, like, and I think that's what they need to do, because if... They keep being like, oh, we have to add these, like, you know. It's fine if you want to have an epic story for Sonic. I don't care at this point if you do or not. I know they're going to try. But, like, E3's next one, so maybe we'll know a bit more. Yeah, pro probably. Sonic Adventure 3, I doubt it. I doubt it. Highly doubt it. Um, I just, I don't think it's necessary to have, like, to try to add things to games, because every time they try to add something to the Sonic games, it just makes them like, like, like when I say add them, like add a gameplay mode that doesn't belong, like Sonic and the Black Knight, uh, Sonic, um, what's a good, Sonic Unleashed. Everybody thought the Werehog uh, sections were too long. They were drawn out and people were just doing them to get to new Sonic stages. Like the, like those are, those should be the bread and butter of the game. If they can do that, like they did with Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors, more so with Sonic Generations, then I feel like we could have, a really really good game on our hands just focus on the aspects that people like stop trying to shoehorn other things into sonic that's that's all you need to do but that being said it's probably time uh uh Just give me a second. Sorry, just messaging someone. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the reason we're here, which is more... Uh, which is more uh, sorry, I got to hit a button underneath my computer desk. Okay. Which is more um, RE8. So. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and load up. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Hope it doesn't break. Oh, and I need to edit the stream title a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh... 